I'm Phyllis Tickle. I'm a, a writer uh, within the field of religion. Basically, I think what I am is a sociologist of religion uh, as it's commercially applied. I grew up in an academic home. My father was uh, academic dean of East Tennessee State University. And I think his pension in many ways was, uh, it's no good to know it if you can't convey it. Uh, when I was a child playing, there was uh, an arbor, I guess you would call it, made out of forsythia. And I used to play in there. I would crawl in there and hide when we were playing hide and seek in the neighborhood and things like that, because nobody could ever see you through all of the all the foliage. And uh, then at some point it dawned on me I didn't want to go out and play hide and seek anymore. I was happier uh, in in the tunnel, looking out through the golden uh, blooms and through the the green leaves. There was a unity there, and you learn to trust that which is not logical, which probably is the first step into uh, a spiritual existence. I never meant to get where I am. Uh, I can look back over 75 years of going from A to B to C um, and say, isn't that amazing? There was a deliberation to it. It just was not my deliberation. It was not my intention. I never intended to do anything except find a nice boy and get married and have lots of babies. That was, you know, that was it. Well, when I look back, I did find a nice guy, a really nice guy, you know, what, 54 years now of living together. We had the seven children, and so that happened. But it's, it's, it's not the pattern when I look back over 75 years and think, oh my goodness, I got here from there without even realizing it. are and become the story we tell ourselves and that we are told by God. The part of my work that is perhaps dearest to me is not in the sociology of religion so much as it's having been the compiler of the Divine Hours, which is a series of manuals for keeping fixed our prayer. Presently, I'm deeply involved in a theology of Scripture and in what it means to try to look at Scripture again uh, from a 21st century point of view. There, there's absolutely no uh, separation between uh, my spiritual life and my work life. My work and my spiritual life are, are two halves of the same thing. I don't know where one stops and the other starts because I do have a certain, I'm empowered in a strange way by the culture to go where next I feel I'm drawn. And it's a, it's a way of saying the spirit and the work, the profession, are, are totally integrated with each other.